Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber. Today is the day I am going to film an in-depth room tour for you guys. Let's go ahead and enter the craft room. And I am filming this holding in my hand, so I may have to pause and take some breaks, um, but we'll go ahead and enter the space, which I'm so excited about. Finally got all the boho cleaned up in here. I'm going to close the door and swing you around. Hopefully I can go slow enough where I don't make you sick. But uh, I thought I had pretty much went over what was here. So I've rearranged a few things. I've got paintings up top up there. On this shelf here, I do have my photo albums, um, scrapbooks that I finished here. And then down here are the empty scrapbooks. This shelf has now become mostly on this side, my junk journal. So that's my junk journal January stuff where I put all my junk. And then in those iris cases, most of those are empty. And then on the very bottom are actual photos. And I have more canvases that I have no room for, right? Okay, and then I got my calendar, a little decoration. In my closet, I do now have two shelves. I'm going to open the door in here. And um, I have one on each side of the door. So this is the first shelf. I'm going to step inside the closet. It's pretty small, but I think I can still show you. Um, so on the shelf are my Reader's Digest books and then a box my son made me that I have all of those signatures in if they fit perfectly. Um, behind that is another box that has all of my grandma's uh, photo albums that I have acquired. And then on top of that is a bunch of blank white envelopes. And then those two, the black and clear pocket thing are empty. They're just organizational things um, that I haven't filled yet. This box on the top is my fall box. So this is my 12 by 12 drawers, which I love. I'm super excited to have. This is supposed to be paper and magazines. And then this is the decorating drawer. So some buttons and the owls and all those fun things in there, the cheesecloth. And then on the top is the journal that I still have to bind. And then my, my what I consider fall fabrics in these are papers in here that were left over from this kit. So I wanted to keep those pulled out separate from the other papers. And then the Happy Mail Fall Folio from Denise is in there. And then on top I can keep going up, um, but I haven't yet because I'm gonna be pulling, I'm pulling this out right now. This one has my personal music paper that I was playing when I was in high school <laughs> a long time ago. Um, and so I just can't bring myself to use these. Or my daughter. Um, this is my daughter's book. Um, but yeah, I just can't bring myself to use these music papers yet uh, for my crafting project. So they're, they're in there for now. Underneath here, I'll kind of see if I can sit on my knees. I have a whole box of cardboard boxes ready to go for journal um, covers. So I've got my Cheez-It, some cereal box, you know, this is a big Walmart bag. And then inside of this tote is where I'm putting all of my kids' um, school things that I'm saving. And then down here in this one, I have a note here. It says scrapbook, memories, letters, and cards. So this is my personal ephemera that I've kept over all my life that are inside of here. In this bag from my friend Elka from Germany. Hello! I keep all of my extra bags. So that's what's inside of there. Mostly clear bags, Ziploc bags, things like that. I have the giantest canvas right here. And then these two little organizers um, are empty. And then my flute is sitting on top of those. And this is that massive bag <laughs> of ribbons from Joann's and laces and I plan on getting a nice basket to like store them in. I just haven't done it yet. I haven't found anything at the thrift store and somebody else had mentioned putting um, an organizer like behind the door and I thought that might be kind of cool because then I can just open the door and grab the lace out of there and it's not going to take up any space at all. So on the other side of my closet I have another shelf. It is a little bit smaller I can't really back up anymore. Um, but in the top, so I ha literally have a laundry basket full of boho fabrics. I've sorted them by color. I love it. Um, this was my grandma's basket. So um, it holds special meaning for me that I get to use that in my craft room. Um, and then on the side of that, I've got all of my mailing envelopes that sometimes I use for journals or sometimes I mail things out. 
Underneath of that, I have my big road atlas that I got with candy. And then I have a couple of shopping bags underneath there. I just really didn't want them on the bookshelf. They won't fit. And I just, I didn't, I know they're there. So if I want to use them, I can grab them. Um, this little storage divider here is full of envelopes. So this is, um, this isn't envelopes, but these are cards that you just fold in half to make cards. They're already pre-scored for you. And then this is small envelopes. So these are my A2. These are all white. These are not copy dyed or anything. And then the bottom is a big giant white envelope. So you see, I didn't have enough space for all the other envelopes across the way. But when I empty a drawer, I stick another stack in there. This I just did yesterday. I'm so excited. So this organizer here on the top has all of my hand embroidery, um, napkins and towelettes and things like that. And it's full now, so I'm happy with that. I get to um, I need to start photocopying those and hopefully using them. The next drawer has only a few of the doilies that I have, the hand crocheted ones, and then a couple of napkins. Um, so that's fun. Oh, look at the difference here. So this is, nope, that's not the same. Right here, I just thought this was interesting. Ah, I'm gonna make a mess with one hand. This is coffee dyed napkin and this is the original napkin from Walmart so when I did that video you can see like pristine versus grunge and I just thought wow what a difference when you think that sometimes coffee dyeing doesn't take to your items and when you stick it next to the original you can really tell um, so I'm gonna put those back in there and then on the bottom drawer in this little organizer here I have a whole pack of <laughs> this beautiful tissue paper and I have some embroidery floss, a pocket that I cut off of one of my shirts, a paint card. This was my color for 2022. This is a lot of fabric. Um, it's really stretchy and I was going to make a journal out of it for um, my fall 20 or not fall, but 2022 and I never got around to it, but this whole drawer is ready to go for that project when I get to it. So I left it. Down below here, I'm going to move this Joanne's bag so I can set down. Okay, so these are fancy envelopes and resume paper right here. This is all extra stuff for my kids for school, like highlighters and pencil and ink refillers and paints and Sharpies, all that. And then this three drawer thing um, is my fabrics. So I've got all my Joann's um, quarter fabrics in here. And then behind there, I've got the, like the thrift store. Look at that pretty pillowcase, you guys. Um, so those are Joanne's, but this is a pretty pillowcase. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And then massive fabrics underneath of that. And this is the only way that I could store them to fit in here with what I had without having to go out and buying a different organizer. So down here, again, it's just big fabrics, ones that I happen to have um, more of that were thicker. Um, so this is my um, way that I store them. Which isn't the greatest, but you know, I just take them out and iron them. Works for me. Bottom of that is more fabric. So here's the one that Denise sent me that I just put in there that's getting caught for some reason. That blue one. Um, and then more fabrics that I'm using as like, these are, this is actually a pillowcase. The, a pink one that I don't like. I like this part. Anyway, um, these are like for backings. So like kind of browns and more of like the browns, but then, yeah, I stuck that in there. And then extra fabrics here that, and this is from the Dollar Tree. I was gonna do a Dollar Tree journal. Um, haven't done that yet. And this is this bag here is my grandma's stuff. So, yeah, pretty organized, I think. This is up here. This is my real life ephemera. Um, as you can see, I've got like a Hershey. I think the Hershey bar is still in there, honestly. Um, but it could be just a wrapper. <laughs> uh, this is where I store my paper bags. This is kid stuff. Um, this is more down here. This is more organization for school supplies. Um, so I need to kind of combine things so you can see pencils here and I have pencils here and yeah, I just kind of need to do a little bit more organization. This bag here is for my youngest boy who's in kindergarten. Um, it has like extra reading papers and things in here that I've kept for the, for the through the years for him to kind of work through, uh, like preschool things. And then, um, underneath of that are two bins that have my decorations that I will eventually get on my wall, like piggy banks and little knickknacks and things like that. So that's my full closet for now. And I still have a lot of space. The plan was to originally add another shelf such as this here above, like right about here and be able to stack more up top things that I wouldn't use necessarily on the regular. Um, but I don't know if that'll actually happen or not, um, but we'll see. So that's my closet. And then my big paper organizer here, I had to redo because a lot of my shelving was bending. I put too much weight on it. And so 
um, over the years I've needed to kind of reorganize. So I just did this last week. And that was a really big project. Um, I have different papers over here. I used to have my eight and a half by 11 solids and now I've got different categories of my 12 by 12s um, over here besides like this. And then this is flowers and this is words and this is holiday. Um, this is school. This is, um, this is supposed to be, um, like papers that I would use in, oh, geez, papers that I would use in junk journals, but they're kind of cutesy, uh, I guess. And then this is like florals and then my polka dot stripes. Um, this is my cartoon stack. Oop, sorry guys. It's hard to do this with one hand. So this is my cartoon stack. Um, and that's a photocopy of Denise's happy mail, but these are like cartoon florals versus, uh, up here, these are real florals. Um, so I would still use these in junk journals, but I just, I went through literally and I had to separate because it was just, it's still so heavy. I'm going to have to do something else. Underneath of that is, this is love or romance, like wedding uh, type of papers. And then underneath of that is like real life. So like real grass and water and sand. Okay. And so you can see everything has a category. It's pretty well separated. Finally, I got all the boho stuff right here in separated and off the floor. So these are by color. This is multicolor here. That's not, I couldn't find a big enough clip to clip those. So they'll just kind of just sit there. And then up here is more boho stuff. So the fabrics, leftover trims, the paper pads I was using and the, um, the calendar and then the roll. So I've got three things here of boho. So once that's done with the other two small journals, um, hopefully I can condense that down and then move some more florals or whatever over there. I got a whole shelf here of Precious Moments stuff. Isn't that cute? Love it. Um, and this is a cut apart shelf. So if I ever want to come and grab like some tags or some numbers, um, I really like that tag book from Joann's that I was able to get. And then full color, 12 by 12 all the way up. And then the eight and a halfs are now on the end by color. Rainbow order. And then down here is um, these are specialty papers, so my mulberry, my fabric papers, origami papers. These are the doily shelf. This is the vellum. This is stationary. This is a new pile for me because I had multiple different stationary pages. Um, this is a paper pad. Okay, so these are two paper pads I just randomly put here because they have matching. So this with this. And then this is a new one underneath of it that I got that I ordered from joannes.com because I got a gift certificate. Um, so I have the new, well, it's really old actually, Mariposa paper set. It is gorgeous, you guys. It has glitter. Like I'll be doing a full project on that probably um, next year because we're getting into fall and Christmas now, but I'm excited to have that. And then this is another full paper pad that I bought a long time ago that is textured with all those pretty blues and turquoises. Actually, they're just mainly turquoises, not blue. This is Disney. This is particularly Mickey Mouse. Um, I'm going to do scrapbook pages out of that for my kids because we did go to Disneyland and my little boy loves Mickey. These are non-Mickey, so like Pooh Bear and Tinkerbell and like Woody. And then I've got a whole stack here that Wanda would love. This is all Hello Kitty paper. Um, so I picked up the Hello Kitty paper pad from Joann's a very long time ago. And these are my calendars down here now. And then this is chipboard and these are where I'm keeping my extra like plastic, um, those plastic things that I, I ordered these from Amazon, but you can get, you could get them at the Dollar Tree and that's what I put inside my binder. And then off to that, it's like never ending. <laughs> I have a whole stack of stuff. So since I'm on my knees already, I'll just um, stay down here on the bottom and then we'll go up. So this is all extra ribbon and stuff. It's terrible. I can, we are not allowed to buy any more ribbon, you guys. It's terrible. Look, this should be in the fall um, because that is probably the only time I would use orange. So I'm going to pull that out actually. So I actually use it with some of this. This would be fun too for fall, which you could use that for like, oh, I could use that for the bee journal too and like daisies and stuff, but particularly that orange and this green. This could be for fall, but this could also be for Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of fun. Oh, and there's red too. That could be again, fall or Christmas. So like these would be good for Christmas maybe. Yeah. And then those for fall. Okay. We got a plan. Um, yeah. Fourth of July, like just random, random brand new stuff. A lot of it. Yeah. It's terrible. Um, this is the next drawer up is again, kids memories, um, photos and things that I need to organize. And then it goes up by Hershey kiss colors. 
can you guys guess that I like chocolate? <laughs> Particularly um, Hershey, but they are organized so they're my colored ephemera. Every drawer has a full length for big pieces. And in the back, I keep the pieces that are not done or that are like just little labels, um, things like that. And then in the front are finished ephemera. So that beautiful, beautiful thing there. I love that. I need to use that. Terrible. Okay, so every drawer has that. Going up to the top, the top one is the fullest on this side because I decided to start putting junk journal stuff in here before it was just black and white, but I put some coffee dyed index cards and some of those multiplication cards and things like that. So that's that one. And then this box here is my treasure journal. These are where I'm keeping all of my treasure tags. So this doesn't work the greatest. As you can see, it's pretty full and we still have, I think I'm on week 36 or 37, 37 or 38 now. So we still got quite a bit to go, um, but I can put some more in the back of that. Um, so I have to move this now to show you what's inside of this box. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Um, so in this birdie box right here that I was so blessed to find at Joann's before they went out of business, I keep more of the organization things. They're, they fell down because there's not as many in here. But they are what I call, so these are like pocket. Okay, well these ones are labeled, but these, there is some, oh, what are these called? I can't remember what these are now. I used to make them, uh, like little ATC exchange things, pocket folders, pocket letters, pocket letters maybe, that's what they were called. Anyways, inside of here, I have to stand on my tiptoes because I'm short, but inside of here is stuff that is done. So dyed doilies. Um, dyed envelopes so they are not just white. This one is my book page collage. These are full pages um, over the page belly bands and then this is a whole thing of pockets that are maybe not all of them are sewn but a lot of them are and then on the behind there I have my window envelopes which I mostly am empty of so I need to start saving those from the burn pile from junk mail because um, I use a lot of them up in other projects. So I'm going to pause and fix that so I can put it back. Okay, and I went out into, I have another area outside of my room where I have a cube storage. And that's where I keep this big giant other box, which is where I got the idea for that one. But this one is like bits and pieces. So this one's like got writing paper. This one has plain doilies that are not coffee dyed or colored. I see a red one in there. So these are postcards. This is like ready-made ephemera. Again, more pockets, but these ones are smaller. And then envelopes in here that are not... They're not regular envelopes, they're like book page or um, digitals. These are journal cards. Some of, There are some Tim Holtz in here, um, ones that I've handmade. Tags, which I'm, I don't have that many in there. I don't make them this way anymore. I used to make them out of cereal box and they're really thick and I don't like that anymore. I don't like how fat they are. Um, so I've never used these, they just sit in here. I need to like get rid of them. I shouldn't say get rid of them. I need to send those out in Happy Mail or use them in journals. I've got my button clusters. And then I've got floral cards here that are not sewn around. Um, I've got some just random embellishments. And then faux envelopes, file folders that are inked. There's only two in there. Um, and then this is when I went through my scraps and I made a whole bunch of little booklets with extra pieces. Tiny bit of library cards. I need to print more of those. And then my pocket banners. So I like to keep those. And then this is an extra book, um, an extra bag of bags. And I do have some of these in my cart down below here um, inside of this. I'll show you that in a minute. And then more extra storage. So that's where I'm hoping this particular striped box, this is where this one will go. And I'm going to continue to put like tags and all that kind of thing in there. But then I realized I wouldn't be able to stack up from there. So I'm not sure if I'll stack this one fat ways inside the pocket but anyways back behind here on my shelf I've got my boho beads because I need those out still I've got my wood beads and I've got colored beads inside this bin here I have my punches um which I don't have very many so that worked out nice inside this little tray which is a lid um I don't know where the box is for that now I'm dumbfounded oh what is in that box now I'm curious I'll have to find it. Anyways, these are words. These are like 5,000 or whatever, 3,000 words from uh, K&C Craft. Oops, that's upside down. But you know, like this one. Treasure of the Heart. Aw, that's cute. Underneath of that, I've got more die cuts. 
um, that I've cut out from paper pads, like really small ones. There's like, this; just, it's mixed. So you can see there's ho, 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 and then like hooray, thanks. Um, there's some 4th of July ones. It's kind of just random bits, but I like that I can just grab this basket and bring it to the desk and craft with you guys. Underneath of that, I decided to put candies. Um, wonderful stamps because I was hoping I was hoping that this tray would just fit um, in my shelf here my little cube but it's too wide so it has to stay here I'm kind of bummed about but I'm okay with it so I just have those stacked like that it's really easy to remove and then over here in these I've got more <laughs> more envelopes these are teeny tiny little coin envelopes vintage envelopes colored envelopes um, which these teeny ones shouldn't be up here because I, they're, yeah, anyways, colored envelopes, and then below that one, I've got more envelopes and cards, so this is, this is from Australia, it's from JD, so these are cards and envelopes that I would use in junk journals, um, and then these are small ones there, and then the bigger ones in the back, and then on the very bottom are the biggest cards, so they're full size, look at that, that is a reproduction of a vintage card, it's not a real vintage one, but then like some pretty florals. This is textured. And so they're all just in here. Um, this is my music station. This is where I'm keeping my current project, which is my bees. I'm going to be sewing that later this afternoon. Um, so this one will probably just sit here and be re redone, refilled up with whatever I'm working on. Um, and so then my cube storage here, I have, this is my cuddle bug. Um, that you can do embossing with. I had to think what that word was. So I have, besides these wood beads <laughs> that I just tucked in there, um, I have all my embossing folders. So I don't have a whole ton of these and I don't use this very often. I used it more when I first got it years and years ago, but I don't, I don't use it that much anymore, sadly. Um, so that's that. This whole box here, this white one, is full of the book page from October. I thought I had... <clears throat> showed you guys that maybe not and so these are all the wonderful ideas with the journal in here that I wanted to put in with book pages and make a book page journal all the things we have I'm not saying we don't have time for but I'm just I would rather do something else apparently um so anyway this is my embossing my embossing basket so everything I need to emboss is inside there the powder um like the colored powders, the tool, and then this is baby. Um, this is where I keep the baby powder in a little sock. So I can just grab that whole thing and pull it out and it's ready to go. I don't have to think where's all my stuff at. Except for the Versamark ink is in this basket over here where I sit. It is right, right here. Um, that one is, but that's black. But this is the... Um, no, I guess, I guess I did put them in there. I guess I did. They, it used to be in here, so I guess I did put it away. My bad. Okay, so I have to have Kleenex because I have allergies and I sneeze. I got to blow my nose. This turned into, like, random bookshelves because I was hoping to be able to put candy stamps or um, stamp pads there, but they won't fit with the, with the bin. So I was bummed out. So I've just got my quote book. I've got this inspiring red ball book. I've got the multiplication cards here. I got a little stationery just so I can grab. This journal here is big. It has big pages in it. Then the ledger. I have the most gorgeous treat that I bought myself at one of the Joann's. Um, when she was going out of business, I bought this magazine, Somerset Studio. Oh, I'm so in love. I'm so in love with this magazine, you guys. Like, it's so, like, you could pull that out and use that. And it gives you, like, prompts. Um, I don't like the circus stuff. But look at that mushroom. It gives you projects. It, it's, like, more mixed media stuff. I love it. Also, I probably won't ever cut that out. <laughs> I cut this up. All right. Next, put my Kleenex back. Below that one, I have my giant... I have my label maker, and then I have my giant crocodile thing. And then in this box, this Paris box, the top one, I have all my stamps. I, I feel like I've gone through this. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but hopefully you're enjoying yourself. Have a cup of coffee, maybe a little snack. Um, and so they're all organized somewhat by different categories and themes and then I've got other ones underneath here that I won't use for 
because they're brand new. I can't bring myself to use those and open it up because they might be worth something someday. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you can just order these and maybe I'll use them. I don't know. I can't right now anyways. So those are all stamps. And then this is really hard to do with one hand. Um, <laughs> inside this box are all my flowers. So these ones I just put in there. I got little bitty flowers and then I've got these silky flowers um, I got this from a lady on Facebook, like, I don't know, it was like $10. And I went through and I basically took all their long stems off and cut them down and leaves and things. And so I just have like, look at that. That would be great for like a mixed media canvas or on a junk journal cover. Look at that pretty rose. I've just never used any of them. I, yeah, I mean, it's not, I know they're there. <laughs> I just I haven't used them. Maybe, maybe this spring. Because well, maybe we could, uh, yeah, maybe this spring. Because I'm like, I'm probably not going to use it for Christmas or fall. Put all that back. Then over here on this bottom section is all of my jewelry. Jewelry making things. Um, so we're doing detailed. So these are the four newest things on clearance that I bought. <laughs> that are just sitting there. They can't fit in there. So those are all beads there. This is my basket that I grab out of where my tools sit. And then I have um, some of the things that Candy sent me inside of here. Um, inside this tin and these little sewing pieces. And then this is all the jump rings. That's a watch band. A really pretty one that my aunt gave me that she said didn't work. And she literally told me to use it in my junk journals, which I thought was really sweet of her. Um, so that was fun. So that just sits on top of this stack here. Inside this bin, I have all charms. So these are all um, silver, and then these are kind of those weird, weird button charms, but there are, there are more silver in there. And then these are like the bronzy gold ones, and then these are just the new ones I just got, more silver. These over here are off of jewelry pieces, so like there's only one of these, like really cool stuff. I'm pretty sure almost all of these are probably from candy, because... I, I don't buy jewelry. <laughs> Take it apart. This is my wood beads. These are all wood beads, except these are not. Whoop, my finger went the wrong spot. These are stones, um, but they I didn't have anywhere else to put them, so they're in there. And then the next, so I'm just literally grabbing from the shelf down. The next one here, this is all glass. Well, I shouldn't say glass, because there are plastic ones in here. But these are metal. These are These are fake metal. Um, some of them are not, um, but a lot of them are. So a lot of these are glass. This is just like the colored. So I've got like darker, green, yellow, blue, pink. Um, these are glass beads over here. Some clear ones, but just kind of like whatever I could fit in there. And then the next one down, ah, it won't click, is whoop, my thumb. Yeah, the next one down is my thumb. Um, this has all the jump rings. And like pins and what do you call these things? Keychains, apparently a string of pearls, multiple strings of pearls, some turquoise beads. Um, and this is done. So these are um, keychains that I've done before. I think that one's really pretty. And then up here are beads that I've already done and strung. Um, so they're kind of just ready. Well, I didn't do that. I found that. But they're ready to go. See, I didn't do that either. That was off a piece of jewelry. But anyways, and then clasps. Okay. I'm going to put this all back together. And then back behind here, this is my grandma's stuff. Um, And so this whole bag is all her jewelry stuff that I wanted to do a journal with. And then this is um, extra dividers for these big bins here. And that's all that's back there. So we'll just put these back up there. I like to keep them in the same order so I know which one I'm grabbing. I have to think. So that is nice. And then I'm not very familiar with wire, but I have this whole bin here of like, I mean, I'm familiar with like this kind of wire because um, that's how I make the dangles um, for the tassels. But there are like itty bitty wire like this. And this is what I did when I did the boho dangles. I learned how to like wrap this because it's super flexible. So I learned about that. Itty bitty little seed beads. 
And then down below here, I have more beads. So these are glass and these are just from Hobby Lobby. I got them at 50% off. I got a pearl set and then a pure boho, bright, beautiful color set. And then back behind here is some more wire thing, which I don't really know about. I haven't had the time or <laughs> desire to do it, but I know that you wrap the wire around these and yeah, that's about it. And then down here is my pearl drawer, which I'm really happy about. So I need to pull the pearls that are in this thing and put them down here now because I've got pearl strings. Um, this is pearls off of my blue tip that um, I took off because it was just too much. And then just string these pretty fall pearls. Okay, well, those are coming out right now because I'm probably going to forget I have them. And I have these pretty orange pearls here. So I want to put these to the front so when I close the drawer, I can see that and I'll be using those and then I've got my chain over here more chain and then this is um, leather the next drawer down has um, these are oh gosh these are this is an iris case inside this drawer because these drawers are harder to pull out it's much easier just to grab this and pull it out and then carefully open it because we don't want to open it wrong and have them dump all over but I've got these are my um, screw posts that somebody said um, to hold your journal shut, but they journal shut, but they didn't work that great for her. But I ended up buying them anyways. And then these are my book corners, which I have more of, but I can't put them together because I have too many. So I need another iris case. And then these are those tassel things that you put on the end, and you can dangle stuff down um, your journal spine. So I have a whole bunch of those in three colors. So that's really fun. I just I would put all that together because at the time I didn't have that much. Now I've got more. These are rings, book rings. And then this is the bling. This is the bling sheets and pearls. And then I've got my bottle caps, which I would consider bling as well. And then I've got these b little tiny bows, which I, uh, yeah, I need to start using them because I don't know. They just sit there. Oh, and this whole drawer is completely full. This is chipboard um, pieces. So like there's big giant stamps and then that's just a square, but then there's teeny tiny little ones in here like happy birthday and wonderful. And then there is Mickey, Mickey Mouse. So all of my chipboard pieces that um, I've collected over the years have gone in this drawer. I used to kind of keep them separated, but I kept forgetting. Okay, sorry, somebody was texting me. I kept forgetting where they were. So I just kind of put most of them in that drawer. And then this little set here is something else that I got for a scrapbooking kit. And it holds my Tim Holtz little stickers. I've just always kept those in here so I don't have to look for them. And then these little bitty pearls that you would glue on. And then down below here, I'm going to have to pause you to open that because it's really tight. It is an organizer and it has some like vellum pieces. It has my little baby uh paper clips some fun fibers that came with the set um some empty jars um little ring pieces metal pieces so all of this basically came with this set i didn't really change anything except for the paper clips and i added these flowers here um yeah and so that was it comes with it came with a scrapbook so that is the whole cube storage we are only like halfway through my room ridiculous this is my sticker storage, which is ugly. I know. I use a baby diaper box. Um, but that's what I have. And I keep them all in plastic bags. Now, I would like to redo this. Um, but, I mean, it does work. It's it's not the most organized. But I do want to go through the stickers. Maybe I'll do that when my friend's here. She's coming next week. It's kind of like a mindless activity. And put my favorite stickers in this book so that I can just grab this book and use them. Um, I think that would be a good a good little sit down. I can visit with her and I think that's what I'll do. And then I have my favorite Reader's Digest book here. My trash can doesn't normally sit here, um, but that's where I put it when I'm not crafting. I move it out of the way. Um, over here under my desk, this is my glue slash tape drawer. Inside of here, this one is all beautiful, beautiful pieces, mostly from Elka. Um, not all of it, but most of it. Some of it I bought like this Dollar Tree. Some from Junie. Just wonderful pieces that I want to have close to me to be able to use. And then down below, this dress is a desert. I mean, this this dress. This drawer is a mess. <laughs> it has a bunch of embroidery floss, um, some wax button thread, which 
I don't know why I bought that. I thought it said wax linen thread, but I have two of these now because I got so excited. It does have my extra cutters, um, but mostly just um, thread. And then it has some extra makeup inkers. And then it has my other Ranger inkers underneath of that. So that's not, that's not the best storage. I kind of, I need to fix it, but I'm, I'm, I'm unmoved at the time. It works now. This is tax papers. So those, those stay there. My chair. So pull my chair out. So when you guys see me reaching for things, I'm reaching like right as close as I can to me. So this bin here, um, this bin here has the everything sewing pouch and the button clusters for now. So when I want to use something, I know I'm going to use it. I'll run out and I'll grab whatever it is out of this stack. Or sometimes I bring this whole box in here and set it down and then just pull from it. And then I've got the embroidery stuff that I started doing. Like, I don't know if I showed you. I think I posted it to my Instagram. Hold on. Let me show you real quick. Well, I can't find it, but I did hand embroider a butterfly and I posted it to my Instagram. Um, but this is just like little practice stitches that I did um, trying to learn how to do stitching. That's supposed to be a flower. Terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. With French knots. Oh, it was. And I was doing this loose. So these pieces I just tried to do in my lap and I think that's why. So I got this and I was, I was thinking having this to do it on might be better. But then you got to cut this off. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Enough to to really do it, but I did like this brown one. These cute little daisies there. So anyways, um, that's my little embroidery thing. But I did buy a hoop. I bought a really small one because I was like, I don't know how much I'm gonna be doing that and a couple of patterns. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. My phone book's in there. Um, some other crafting things are in there, some rosettes, and then this is a cutter mat that I keep in there. And that's all in this little drawer. It just sits right there. Um, this, These are my two binders <laughs> so I've got this is my original one that you guys see me use um, for my ephemera storage and then that is the newer one and this little rain girl fell out there we go um, and then underneath of that this is just extra um, paper that's blank in notebooks from my kids so then this is my little cart here I have my my trimmer and my scoreboard and I always have those together I don't usually have the fall papers on there but they're together so then inside this cart I get to have all my favorite papers which I'm so excited about so in the first pocket here I have two envelopes right now so I have coffee dyed and then I have text and these are scraps and then below that so inside this next drawer it's organized it doesn't really look like it to anybody else but to me it does so this right here are nice coffee dyed papers this bundle with the clip are grungy, or they have um, doilies, which I don't know where these went. My son took them, he was playing with them, and ever since I dyed these first ones, he has hid them from me. And so it's got some stenciling, like you can see, these are pretty grunge, right? And then back behind that are my legal size, my big giant legal size coffee dye papers. So I'm organized as much as I can be. I can't put that back with one hand. Um, music paper, which these are coffee dyed and then not, and then just extra pages. And then in here, I just did this so I can pull this thing out. These are coffee dyed like book pages and I can just grab that out. So you guys are going to start seeing me use this more often. And then I've got other book pages here that are coffee dyed, um, or some that are not. This is all florals that I took out of a book that are long and skinny. And then behind that, I've got my lined paper and then this is uh what is this ledger paper couldn't think of the name and then after that is where i keep calendars just a few um a few of my favorites and then this is all jelly print the next row they're not labeled and so that's probably the problem i would label these and have the little tab sticking up but then i couldn't put my scoreboard and my cutter so that's not going to happen for me um and then behind that is digitals Yep. And then coloring pages. And this is scrapbook papers so that I would like use if I wanted an extra piece to go in a junk journal. I don't have to get up and go to the shelf. And then bags. Yep. All different kinds of bags. And then, then we get into Timmy. So these are Tim scraps. Well, it's actually a Tim paper pad now. Um, and then my other Tim Holtz here. And then this pack here as well. And then that pretty paper pad. And so I switched these paper pads out. So my fall ones are going to be coming in there today. So I can grab from them. Um, and this, this is all Stamperia right here. Ooh, 
Ooh, I'm excited to play with that someday. So I have garden and spring in here right now, but I'm gonna pull these out and put the fall ones. And then I've got another garden one. That's my box for my Cricut. There's nothing in there. And then the cover for this cart is back there. Gosh, that's, I just feel like an eternity. This video is going to take forever. But y'all wanted an in-depth video, so here we go. This is where I sit. I had to move that box out of the way. I sit, well, I don't sit in the corner. I sit right here. Um, and then I have this whole thing now is full again with ready made ephemera, or mostly ready made to grab and go. The journal I'm working in, or been working in for years. I'd like to finish that up. <laughs> um, and then on the trays, I have my inkers, and then I have the tabs, and then words. And then underneath of that are papers um, from my daughter with the inks. And then underneath that little guy, I now have my clusters. So I can just pull in some clusters. Um, these papers in here are all Victoria Designs. I was going to do a video on that. And then this is more cut aparts that I just like to keep at the ready. So that's where I keep all those. And then I've got the duct tape, which I don't use really that often. I've got my ribbon, uh, not ribbon, tissue paper stamped. Tim Holtz inspired things there. I love looking at them. And then I've got all my manuals because I'm that person. <laughs> For my crafting projects, in case I forget how to use the crop -a dial guys, I will know how. <laughs> I'll have to Google it. Because, you know, sometimes we don't have internet. Um, these are all my favorite stamps or stamps that I'm keeping in this drawer here. I still have Mr. Fox hanging out. He about needs to go somewhere else. He's going to get wrecked. And then back here I have fun fibers. And those are in a fun purple. I would like to see that more, but, you know, it is what it is. But there are dividers in here. Um, but these are just a bunch of fun fibers. So they just sit there top drawer in this organ so back up so there's two storage organizers here each with three drawers this top one is small z's so small little eyelets all eyelets this is all eyelets these are big ones um and then i do have these rhinestones in there i just put those in there because like i need the punch set to do them i don't i don't remember where i put that at. and then this is my lace my lace drawer that i reach for that i I need to switch out because I, I keep not using these. Um, it, it, yeah, anyway. And then we've got stamps. So these are word stamps. I do have them organized. I feel like, well, this one isn't. This is a corner stamp. Um, but these are all words. And then this is pictures. So you can see that's where this one's supposed to go. These are all pictures. Wood block stamps. These are massives. <laughs> these are the big stamps. Um, and so typically pictures, I would say, yeah, because I put the postcard one up here because I use it a lot. But these are all my all my stamps, bigger stamps. Went over that. Okay, my light. This little organizer I got, I won from Healing Montana Nana. My very first video. I use it every day. I got my inkers, my all oh, my scissors, my ruler, pens, everything you need, right? A tape cutter. Tape cutter corner right there. Yep. And then I have my Tim Holtz thing slides right underneath. This is a uh, over the countertop like storage thingy. And that's where I keep all my Tim Holtz inkers. This is my new book weight. I'm so excited! I got that for my anniversary this year. And then my stamp block, the organizer my daughter got me for Christmas, where I keep. This is my binding section, my extra staples, my punch, my corner rounder, the thread that I could start using. That's the, that's the needles and then the embroidery floss. This drawer has these labels and then her stickers that she gave me with this set and then all the papers underneath. So that's not very organized. And then down below, I just did this yesterday. I put um, patterns in this, another iris case. So I don't use the iris cases. You'll see them around my room. So like here's one and then you saw over here some and then in the bead one, there's one. And I just use them wherever I need them because I'm not going to get up and go get that big giant case off the shelf. Um, so then I, I sit here, I got my glues, I got a new little bin, so I got this, this one is full of, um, the boho, or what I call boho, um, there's some paper clips, but mostly, oh my gosh, bold pins, bold pins, colorful ones, and then this, there's a couple of scraps of lace there, but these are die cuts from my machine, uh, my son likes to cut them pick thing shapes to cut out and then he likes to take them off the cutting mats and so I just put them in here and I like that these two can stack and my son actually made this bowl <laughs> my little guy and it doesn't 
yeah, it doesn't say a year. Anyway, so that's that. And I, this is where I put my iPad and I get mad when it's, I'm filming because I can't pull out the washi because I have to have this sitting here. It's usually propped up with the screen on at an angle and I have to like work around it. Um, but then I have my die cuts here that I reach up and grab. I just pull this whole bin off. You guys have seen that. That's all my project life cards assorted by color, small. And then these are all big. These are color scripture cards. These are blank, um, memory decks cards, and then some index cards, um, more project life cards, an actual set of cards. This is like the card section. <clears throat> and then I do have a few of, whoops, sorry, a few of those mini envelopes because I was like, oh, I want to start using those. So I got that. Then down here, I've got my washi. So I, I did get this from Facebook Marketplace. This lady had this and I thought, well, I could try it. And I, I've tried it a few times. I don't, I don't know if I'll actually keep that, but this is all the washi that I have. This is my big giant wide washies that I bought off of Amazon right here. That's it. I don't have that many. I mean, I shouldn't say that when I, when it's completely full, but I won't let myself get any until I have room to put it in here. That's the, that's the rule. You cannot go and fill up the next bin with washi. <laughs> These are dark gold pins and then Tim Holtz bowl pins, the gold class. This is more washi from Elka. Um, really pretty. And then this is glitter glue that my son likes to use, um, which is almost gone. And then extra bits here from string. And then I have some stamps here that I could put grab so I don't have to pull out that whole thing if I'm in a hurry. I'm trying to craft with you guys on camera. Um, yep. And then after that, I've got a little notebook here. I've got this prayers here that I just got from Hobby Lobby. I say just got, but it was like probably months ago. This bin has all of my scrap papers that are organized by color. And then I'm pretty sure I showed you guys underneath here. I've got two bright boho flowers that I totally forgot about. Could have used those in the boho journals. Could still add to them. Muted colors here. Underneath that is my ribbon storage. And they're all on... Um, they're all on cardboard wrapped around there. As you can see, it's full. And that's why I can't get them out of the drawer over there. Because I have no more room in here. <laughs> So again, you have to use one in here before you can go over there, right? That's that's kind of the rule I have for myself, unless it's something that I particularly need, like the 4th of July ribbon or something. We've got my glue bin, my glue station, all the glues, hot glue bin with scrapers. This is what I pulled off the shelf so I'd use it. This is extra ribbon that I put on my desk because I was like, I need to use these because they're neutral colors. Oh, there's the bin. There's the, there's the lid. See, it holds the glues. Cricut machine. Vinyl scraps. This, I just put scrapbook paper in here um, that didn't really have a category and maybe was like double-sided or I didn't care if my son really pulled these out to want to cut and like lay it on here and pick an image to cut out. Okay, this is my mixed media bin station. And then I have two more 12 by 12 organizers. Inside here are papers from Elka. And same here. This is this is mostly all Elka stuff besides, well, this isn't and this isn't. This is from Candy, but like special papers, I should say. These are all scrapbooking kits. Look at all that. Look at all that fun in there. Oh, there's a B one. What am I doing? Give me that. I knew I had a B one, but it doesn't really, it's not really vintage B. It's kind of bright B, but I'm sure we can find some things to use. Okay. Um, this is um mostly die cuts. And then now I've got this drawer here of brads, except for these corner ones here. As you can see, they won't fit in that drawer over there where the other ones are, but everything else in here is all brads. Super happy about that. Yeah. Then we got, these are scrapbook pages that are ready to go or like a template. So like that one's ready. It's decorated with, I mean, the layout is ready. It's not decorated. And then over here, Getting closer to the sewing, I have all my die cuts. So I've got Tim Holtz and Hobby Lobby. I got my tape runner, I've got my stapler over here. I got a little um, organizer. This, I'm gonna burn my arm. Let's move the candle. This all has my Sharpies, extra tags. I can just quickly move. Um, we've got tape measure, the cutter. These are all appliques that you would glue on or sew on. Um, the date stamps that I don't use. I, I mean, it's like we passed. Um, fabric scissors. Ooh, I'm excited to use these. These are new. Um, these are those pinking shears. I did get these when Joanne's went out of business. 
And then I've got more like date stampy things over here that I, I would tend to use these more for scrapbooking or like mini cluster making or whatever, but they're just in there. My little light has an organizer on it, which is super cute. Let's see, I can sew. I love it. I love my room, you guys. I've tried really hard to keep it organized. So this is, I don't know what you really use this for, um, but I watched a video and this lady made tickets with this. <laughs> my seam ripper. Um, scissors, yeah. This is not very organized, but it has, all the words are in here now instead of just in this drawer. And I put other pieces that are done for scrapbook on top, like tags and like words that are glued together. And this is stuff from Duan's here that I got on clearance that are rub-ons and or stickers and chipboard and then more die cuts. And I just, yeah, I just stuck them in there. That's terrible. But this is um, my six by six paper pads. I only have three of those. And then this thing here is colorful like journal cards for scrapbooking. And you can see over here, I've got my journals. I got my sewing. I've got this thing on the wall now I'm so excited about. So it has different categories of organization. So um, I've got like that journal cover up there. And then this is the rainbow journal stuff. This is the art journal stuff. This is the romance journal stuff. <laughs> this is my faith journal stuff. And then extra journal covers here. Down here right next to where I sew. The first bin is all like snippets and pockets and journal cards that I want sewing on. And then back behind here is all pages. So pages that I either need to sew, like this just needs to be sewn and put in a journal. Um, that I need to sew or they or I want to join two pages together like this and I haven't sewn it on there. So this is two pages joined with fabric. And then in the very back of that is a big fat lace and then the two laces or a lace and then a ribbon that I like to use. My massive guillotine cutter is behind everything, right next to my door. Um, that just keeps it out of sight, out of mind, so I don't have to worry about it falling or my son getting it or anything like that. Of course, I sit here. So we're making our way back across. Down here, I have these threads. I have my bobbins, my pins, my threads, and then I have these like fabric things. I don't know what they are, like edging. This is a terribly long video. I feel terrible. Um, I have lace in here, just like I do with my ribbon over there, but I have some laces in there. Um, this drawer has all my fabrics. Um, basically, these are, this is my scrap. Um, this is a scrap pack, but like little bitty scraps here and then bigger scraps there. Here are scraps, there are scraps. <laughs> this is full fabric. So this is a beautiful tablecloth that I want to make a journal cover out of. Multiple journal covers out of eventually. Same with this. Look at that rose. But this will be hard because it has a big, a big rose pattern on it. It's so pretty. But, and then Candy's fabric down there. Her quilt. Yeah. I'm running out of breath. My patterns now are all in here with extra threads. So I don't have like a thread organizer. Um, I don't really have anything to put those in, but that works for me for right now. And then we'll go back this direction. This cart here is still in a work in progress. This is all my treasure papers that I pull from that I pulled out this year and set them here. This is an organization from Candy right here. This big plastic bin. This is some more cheesecloth. And then underneath that are... It did have all that um, stuff. I did a mom's journal, which we'll be going out a video for that later on. But it did have all her stuff in here that I got from the thrift store. And I said I was going to make a journal. Of. Well, I did it. Now I've got these rolly things, which is great for the mixed media or like big giant scrapbook pages. So I just put these in here and you just ink them up and, and roll them on there. And then underneath that is extra scrapbook page protectors. My book of wallpaper is right here. My drawer is full of vinyl. This is all for the Cricut. So it's handy right next to it. This is all stationary and or post-it notes. So if I need to make myself a note or I want some pretty paper for my journals. And then down here, so this is those, um, these are those trading card refillers. But then underneath that is all like scrapbooking magazines and books for like layouts and things. And then you're going to get into the non-organization, which is over here. This corner is terrible. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. This is all paper pads. 12 by 12 paper pads. 
Yep. Underneath of that is all loose leaf paper. This bag, which I would want a basket eventually when I go to the thrift store, is full of boho scraps. And then like kids, kid things, crayons and their art things. This is crepe paper. This is actual journals that I journaled in. And then you have my Christmas stash, which is overflowing. So I have another three drawer thing here. Organizer, just like the fall one. That's full of Christmas. And then I have a big tote in there, like a, you know, like a moving tote underneath all that. That is full of Christmas. Yep. Okay, we're almost done. Almost done. This is my ribbon. This is the extra ribbon. So I usually you see me grab out of this bag. But, I mean, there's, there's tons in there. I need to use it. It's terrible. This is now um, Bow Bunny, mainly Bow Bunny paper pads right here. And then these are journal cards that I found that were over there that I pulled over here now. Ah! And some matte stacks. I'm going to drop that on the floor. This drawer I need to fix. So this is all, because I didn't have that many before. This is all Tim Holtz stencils and stamps and rub-ons. And stencils and rub-ons and stencils. And it's a mess. I would like to see this organized. It's terrible. Yep, I've got, I've got too many. Um, and then this is all candies <laughs> that she's given me. And I like to keep them organized because she took the time to put the year or the book of what it came from and left them in these bags. And so even though this isn't the most efficient way to use these things, this is where they're staying. Piano paper, but the bottom is all napkins. So again, if it doesn't fit in the drawer, if you don't have room for it, don't buy it. You must say no. It's hard sometimes, right? It's hard. Okay, so that's all on my room, you guys. Deep in length video. Up top, up here, I've got extra uh, organization and a journal cover, um, paint chip cards. This is chalks and pastels, I believe, like extra storage things, a decoration, my stamps. I put these up here. These are all the cling stamps that Candy gave me. I didn't have anywhere to put them. Inside of here, this is chipboard. So these are chipboard, but they are ones that are wooden. So you would paint or spray or whatever of those. And then I've got my reproduction of the Edwardian lady that I cannot cut apart. Terrible. <laughs> Sequins. And then journals, like real journals. And then the ones Candy gave me, the big giant like needle books. Um, this is a book I just got just because I like the color of that. That's my junk journal January, the boho journals, and then all the pretty journals. Yay! This is full of cards. This came that way. It's full of cards um, by category. And those are ones that I will mail out to people. So not for junk journals. Um, this was another card organizer that I had bought, um, and this is for handmade cards. So this is like store-bought, <laughs> handmade. This little organizer over here holds different scrap papers, um, different sizes. I used to use these for scrapbooking, but I've got more bags in there. This whole thing is full of small journals. And this is another thing here of journals I was trying to do, like, for my subscriber giveaways. Like, who would win them from 2022, I think? Maybe? Can't remember now. Yep. So that is my craft room, guys. I hope you enjoy taking a look at it and spending an hour with me today. I hope you find some good organization stuff in here. And I really enjoyed sharing my space with you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.